Yo, what's good? What's poppin'? Yo, for this segment of Newton's Law, man, we have a special guest. You dig? By way of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, but from, you know what I'm saying, Atlanta, Georgia. C1 in alum. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, my boy went and got that bag this year, you know what I'm saying, with the Las Vegas Raiders. I present the sum and introduce the others. Jacoby Bartholomew. <laughs> <laughs> Jacoby Myers, bro, what's good with it? Hey, what's going on, bro? Appreciate you having me for sure, bro. Man, listen, first off, let's 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 bring the people back, right? Yeah. And when I always say my impact was far beyond than what people seen on a football field. How did we first meet? Dog, uh, man, I could man, if I it's crazy, bro. I still got the picture on my phone. Like I showed up to one of the camps, bro. And I remember back then, everybody like, oh, that's Cam, bro. That's Cam, bro. People, yeah. A lot of people don't realize that, like, they just see you being goofy and eccentric and stuff, whatever it is, bro. But for us back in Georgia, bro, mm -hmm. we was like, but that's Cam, but that's Superman Cam. So mm -hmm. showed up to one of the camps, bro, you know what I'm saying? I remember my pops was just like, look, bro, you got to get a picture, dog. You, yeah. you got to get a picture. Bro. I'm like, man, for sure, bro, that's, bro, I'm getting a picture, bro, so... We pop up, get a picture. I remember you was on crutches because you had hurt yourself then, your ankle yeah. or something. I'm just like, man, this can't. I'm going to get this picture. So from there, it just rolled off, man. I was trying to make the team. You for sure ain't play me. I ain't never forget that. Took me on a trip, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Took me on a trip, though. Had a good time, bro. You just you just showed somebody from Georgia, bro, just a whole different experience with the football thing, yeah. bro. So I always, I always got a special place in my heart for sure, bro. I yeah. appreciate that. Man, backstory with me and Jacoby, bro. So Jacoby originally played quarterback, right? And yeah. when you was, what, 15, 16? I just remember. Like, like 15, 16 for sure. Bro, my dad kept saying, but put Jacoby in, put Jacoby in. And I was like, bro, this dude got an arm, bro. He could throw it from here to Africa. But, bro, he could not throw a slant, but he was going to be sizzling. <laughs> so, you feel hey. me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, for me, being from Atlanta, it, it was never just about me. It was always about empowering kids who came from my situation and now seeing you get the deal that you just did before the season and you coming into your own. Now, when you come back, folks going to be like, well, that's Jacoby Myers, bro. Like blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what? So that's what it's, right. you know, really all about, you know, for me being in this position. So when the folks be like, bro, are you a hall of fame player? Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I give a fuck about, you know, really using my influence in a positive way to impact guys, you know, like yourself. And we had the opportunity to play with each other in New England. And I think the thing that I remember most about me and you, bro, I think I was just coming off the COVID situation. Mm -hmm. And we was in a bubble, right? So backstory about the bubble. New England has a indoor turf facility that is mm -hmm. rarely used. And anybody who knows... Yep. Uh, uh, New England, Massachusetts, right? Yeah. That place gets extremely cold. So Bill Belichick has this kind of mind triggering thing that is like, bruh, you're going to be mentally tough. The only reason why we was using the bubble was for a locker room to stay spaced out, right? right. And I remember this particular time where I came back, you was there, and anybody who knows Jacob, he real like, you know, smooth he ain't gonna talk he gonna go do his work and leave you know what i'm saying typical sure. receiver but typical person that's just like i'm here to do my work bro and i'm gone and i had a conversation with you at the locker i'm like bro like like why don't like you fire you feel me like in new england you're going to compete in practice every day you have practice there's going to be a period that's designated or periods that's dedicated to one-on-one competing competition right and i just remember bro we had uh uh stefan gilmore and boom jacoby going up with him and ba bam he he wasn't blinking like he was producing and i'm like bro like why are you not standing on the table you like getting reps you know what i'm saying because they wasn't even dressing you you was traveling but you wasn't dressing not even dressing for sure. and then that following week we played the jets 
and shit, the rest, I mean, your birthday and the rest was pretty much history. But the world was seeing. I'm not gonna sit up here and say what I was seeing because you was balling out from a rookie with you and a uh, Stitty, uh, you know, having that connection. But just that belief in yourself. That's what I stand on. You know what I'm saying? And it's not necessarily cocky if you can back it up. That was really your coming out party. You feel me? Not for real, bro. Not for <laughs> real. It's crazy you and tell that from- story, though. I ain't gonna lie, bro, because you don't even know. Like, I remember that exact situation you're talking about, bro. Like, mm-hmm. that low key saved my career, bro. I don't even mm-hmm. think you know, like, how serious that was for me, bro, because that was at a point, right? Like you said, bro, I'm not even dressing. I'm like, no, yeah. bro, this ain't for me. Like, this ain't for me. This league stuff ain't for me. I'll go figure it out. So just yeah. that talk, bro. I remember sitting there, bro, in that chair, that talk, but it was perfect timing, bro. I always, yeah. I always appreciate you for that for sure. And what you that just no, signed really... for for the for the folks that that just heard you say you was about to quit? What you just signed for? I forgot. For ten, bro. Like ten. I don't even thirty three, something like that, bro. Thirty three, bro. I was like, <laughs> man, what, bro? What my career could have been, bro? Had we not, bro? I think back to that joint all the time, bro. It's, a nigga would have been asked out, bro. Asked out. Yeah. Like, but it ain't like crazy. you, like you ain't like one of these guys that just get a deal. Like, bro, Jacoby been putting a body of work together, you know, for yeah. years on time. And this is what your fifth year? Yeah. You feel me? And it's yeah. been subtle plays that at one point I came, I came to New England be, in large part for Julian. You know, I'm like, I got a veteran receiver that we can work. This is the year after Brady left. So Brady took Gronkowski and all this and that. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, at least I got Jules. Boom. Jules is hurt. <laughs> like he on the backside. Right. He, he was more hurt than what he was given credit for. Cause that's just who Julian Edelman is. Right. And then so all of a dude, sudden sure. I, I see a guy who is just deflated mentally that now at some particular points of the game, I'm like, Hey, Kobe, Hey, come on. Woo. Hey. And just throwing that bitch and he was making a play for a motherfucker. So hell yeah. Just to see here, dog. just to see everything that kind of happened. And everybody always asks me, like, yo, bro, like, what do you think about New England? My biggest regret from New England, and I always say it, is the fact that I didn't play in front of the fans. Cause me being me, I feed off of the energy of the of of, of people. Whether it's yeah. a boo, whether it's a ooh, whether it's a ah or a nah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I feed off For that sure. and I use that. And when we was in them doggone stadiums and it was empty, <laughs> they was pumping crowd noise. I'm like, man, this shit weak as a bitch, man. But man, you could hear the other sideline and shit. That shit was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. So, so one thing that I want to talk about, man, just your overall growth and and the state of Vegas right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? When I see y'all roster from top to bottom, obviously, uh, you know, Devontae Adams, yourself, Jimmy G, uh, a solid, as we would see on paper, a Mm. solid-ass defense, you know what I'm saying, special teams. And even with Josh McDaniels being a beautiful offensive mind, what does the Las Vegas Raiders need to do to get out of this funk? Keep going. You know what I'm saying? I think if we just show up every day, every day, we got everything we need. Like, it ain't nobody who's going to come in and just make us a better team like that. You know what I mean? I think if everybody just kept going, learn from the losses, we'll be all right. Man, my question, man, before we get out of here is this, bro. Like, a person with your career, right, Have how you've been able to maneuver and, and having the mental stamina, New England term, <laughs> the mental stamina <laughs> to – just keep doing and keep pushing because everybody don't necessarily get the big deal. Everybody don't, everybody comes in as a free agent like yourself and just got to work yeah. and hammer and, 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 and just hope to get saw by a coach or get favor from a coordinator. You know what I'm saying? That's going to stand on the table for you. What was that like for you, you know, being in this type of position in your career now? Man, it was... I ain't gonna lie, it was life changing, man. Cause you know me, you know how I am. Like I, I wear the same clothes if I have yeah. to, you know what I mean? The same sweats every day if I have to. Like it was just, in my eyes, I was doing it for my family. So whenever I made money, that dollar had to be split between me and my folks. You know what I mean? So just 
making it to where I am now, like I done finally got a chance to just breathe and play for myself a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like finally see what I could be, how good I could be on the field instead of just, all right, my family, we need this. So you got to go out there and take these hits, go out here and block this dude. So I ain't going to lie, man, it gave me a whole new aspect on football. Like I get to enjoy it a little bit more, get to try to be a better teammate, try to be a better person, be more involved in it. So, I mean, I'm just grateful for real, man. Grateful for people like you who done helped me get here. Yeah, It's just it's a dream come true for sure. Jacoby Bartholomew Myers, before you get up out of here, bro, <laughs> when you signed your deal, yeah, yeah, yeah. what did you do? Dang, I'm finna sound real lame, bro, but I ain't do nothing. <laughs> I still ain't do nothing, bro. I'm so low key with it, bro. I just, I ain't do anything. Where were you? Were you in Atlanta? I was working out, bro. I was, hell yeah. I was at uh, DSA working out. They called me. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. All right, let me get back to this workout. <laughs> oh, God. What you get? Oh, it. God. What you get yourself, bro? Because it's a lot of people that's living vicariously through you right now that be like, bro, like, first off, what hit the account, right? I know I'm dabbling to, you know, personal. What hit the account and what did you yeah, do, yeah. you feel me, with that? Like, not yeah. that point, but something that you said, okay, cool, I'm going to get me there. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to lie. If it was one thing I did do, it's this crib, man, in Vegas. I got me a spot out in Vegas, bro. And you know how. I was living in Foxborough, boy. I had the little hut. <laughs> I had the hut. So now I got, I I got the, a little breathing uh, room out here in Vegas. I'm enjoying it for sure. Well, I'm staying with you for a uh, Super Bowl, boy. Like real talk. Up, man. You, you did. You know it's going to be a good time for sure. <laughs> My boy had a little hut where he just was playing 2K <laughs> all day and Call of Duty all day, bro. Yeah. Come on, War is on it up, bro. But, man, bro, appreciate you, you dog. Thank you, bro. And I'll be in contact with you. I already know it, bro. Hit me if you need me, bro. Appreciate you, dog. Yes, sir.